Hey everybody, it's me, Brother Wild Bill, coming to you from inside the most dangerous prison in the Western Hemisphere. I'm the prison's chaplain here in, in the worst prison in Central America, where I'm also an inmate. I was a hitman on the outside, a professional killer from 2006 to 2010. I've been in prison for 13 years, and here I am now giving you an audio diary. This is something that happened to me, an experience, a really religious experience that I had. Supernatural is a better word. Experience, a supernatural, not a religious experience. A supernatural experience um, that I had last night. Today is the 13th of March when I'm recording this. It won't, it won't come out for a while, but it, it's, it's the 13th of March. And so for the last three days, uh, I, I don't know. Let's start from the beginning. It, I got my COVID injections um, last year, about Christmas time, it began, and I got three, one every month. So, like, let's say I, I got done getting them in March, something like that. And I, after the third, after the first one, second one, no problem. But after the third one, I began to have some problems. I had some blood pressure issues that developed into like extreme blood pressure issues, and I think, I think, it was pericarditis. You know, like where your heart swells, the the sac around your heart swells. But a lot of other people have had that problem with those horrible vaccines that are just garbage that nobody should ever get. And I'm sorry if you're like pro-vaccine that and you maybe you didn't have a problem with them, but I certainly did. And um, I think that that I mean I think they know that these vaccines are horrible. And what the hell? I mean I'm, I'm getting off subject, but well, who in the hell sends you something you have to have three vaccines for, and then I still got COVID after it? I mean, that was absolutely worthless to take the vaccines, don't you think? Anyway, so it is what it is. That's what happened. And in July, about June last year, June last year, a lot of you that have been with me for a long time, or at least, in, at least up until that time, know that I almost died two or three times, at least twice. During that time period, like, you know, my blood pressure went to like 240 over. <laughs> and like my blood, my blood vessels were about to explode. And of course, here in in where I am, there's very little to no healthcare. When you get sick, you just die. And and so I finally wrangled some blood pressure pills and a few other things. Stopped drinking coffee, my beloved coffee, for a long time, and I got myself semi straightened out. Not perfect, but semi straightened out. You know, my blood pressure's high. It won't come. It won't come down over 150 over 90, but that's not lethal. Uh, it's not good. But it's not lethal, and, and so I, I just have to live with it like at that, like 140 over 90, 150 over 90. And and the thing about it is the low number and the blood pressure is okay. So, so that I think is the, the the most important part is the low number. But anyway, so the last three days I started having problems. I couldn't breathe very well. You know, I just like whew, I just can't catch my breath, and, and not 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 like I'm out of breath. But I feel like something's squeezing my chest. I feel like there's like there's an elephant sitting on my, or not an elephant, but like maybe a small child sitting on my chest. The weight, like there's a 40 pound weight laying on my chest when I'm laying down. I'm moving up, moving around. I feel good, and and I began to get swimmy headed. And so I stopped drinking coffee. I started drinking a lot of water. Fasted. None of that. Nothing helped. I started taking those god awful blood pressure pills again, which have such terrible side effects. Again. No, no change. It worse and it worse and worse and worse. Last night, I felt really bad, and I didn't. I don't like to bitch about my problems. You know, like I didn't tell my friends very much. I, I didn't. Even, I didn't even tell, you know, the people that I love. You know, so there's anything anybody can do for me, and so there's no reason to tell. And so anyway, so I, I was in here, and I t- before I went to sleep, I took a blood pressure pill and drank a whole bunch of water getting up every hour to piss you know that's wonderful when you're trying to sleep at three o'clock in the morning i woke up and like just couldn't breathe and i don't mean i couldn't breathe i could actually breathe but it was like hard to catch my breath you know and i felt like something was sitting on my chest like literally like i felt like i was a weight and when i stood up i felt a little okay really really lightheaded I mean, I felt like, and I was looking normally when my blood pressure is out of whack, I can look at my arms and see that they're very vascular, meaning that the veins like where you're in your biceps, the veins in your forearms are really swelled up, veins in my hands, my feet also, or get like really big, get like through the skin, I can see them more 
pronounced. And that wasn't the case last night. I'm like, that's what I was like. I don't understand how I feel. I don't understand why I feel like this because, like, from outward appearance, it, it, it feels different. It's not the same as it was last time. I don't. I don't. First of all, I don't feel the same as I did last time. And second, I don't, I don't like my heart. I don't feel that flutter in my heart, you know, from having really high blood pressure. But like, I'm, I got swimmy headed. I I can't breathe very well. And like, I and I I but I don't see my blood vessels. I don't. Anyway. So it was like really different, and I, and I it got worse. And I laid down. I just couldn't breathe. I can't couldn't get comfortable. I kept trying to catch my breath. Like it was like everything I could do to breathe in, you know, and just like in when I did breathe in, it was almost like there was no oxygen in that air or something. But it wasn't like asthma, you know. It wasn't like asthma. So I began became frustrated, just like really frustrated. And, and I told God, I said, I don't want to die here. I, it doesn't seem. I don't want to die. I don't mind to die. I'm not afraid of death. It doesn't scare me. I have to die. I know that one day. But I don't want to die here all alone in this dark concrete shithole, you know? I don't want to die here in this place. And so I I ask I ask God, why is this happening? I'm doing everything right. I'm not I'm you know, I'm exercising, I'm eating well, I'm 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 not overweight again. you know, I actually have lost weight in the last month. I, I felt like I was a little bit overweight, so I lost like ten pounds last month and, and I'm like I don't know why I'm like been really working out and I, why is this happening to me? And God said, You ain't asking me for help. You ain't asking and this is what he said in my heart. I'm like obviously God doesn't come down from heaven and speak to me, but in my heart it said, You haven't asked me for help. You're still not asking me for help. I haven't helped you because you've not asked. If you want my help you have to ask for it. I'm not I'm not I'm not negating you, I'm not denying you, but but you haven't asked for my help. So I got immediately on my knees and I said, I used the name of Jesus Christ and I said Jesus, God, please help me. I, I don't mind to die, but I don't want to die here. I'm trying to do everything right, and I'm lost. I just don't know what to do, and I'm in this dark hole in hell, and it's 4 o'clock in the morning, and I can't breathe. Please help me. And I felt a vibration in my chest. I felt, it's almost like a guitar string. I couldn't hear, you didn't hear, I didn't hear anything, but I could feel like a bing in my chest for a, just a brief second, and like immediately I could breathe, immediately. And I still felt swimming-headed and shitty, but immediately I could breathe. And then in about five minutes, I felt completely normal as I feel right laying here. I'm laying on my bunk right now recording this, and I feel completely normal. And from that moment, I have felt normal. So, you know, you can believe whatever you want to believe. I'm not a faith healer. I'm not like some, you know, I don't believe in snake handling and drinking poison and, you know, and, 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 and I'm not a care. I'm not even a charismatic. I, I'm, not, I don't, I'm not loud when I worship God. I don't, you know, and... But I'm telling you that there is power in the name of Jesus Christ. You believe whatever you want to believe. I hope you can will take something away from this. And I would I would encourage you to experiment yourself with the with the name of Jesus Christ in a positive way. Because I asked Jesus for help last night, and He gave it to me. So, so I mean, like, I'm I'm giving you a testimony here of of that power. There's a supernatural power in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I and I, I really experienced it last night. And I thought. It's so important. I thought maybe maybe this is why I experienced it. Maybe this is why God let me go through it was to transmit this to somebody else. You guys know that I'm a I'm a I'm a pastor, but I'm more of a secular pastor really than I mean I am a Christian. I believe in Jesus Christ and I, I accept Jesus Christ as my personal savior. But the things that I preach are generally secular that that, that can help anybody, not just a Christian, you know. Like the, the things I preach are more like motivation. Really, but I've come here today to, to to give testimony to the power of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you've liked this this testimony, this supernatural experience that I had, spiritual experience that I had, uh, please like the thing. It really helps when you like. If you've listened to this this far, stop doing it. It won't take you two seconds to just touch with your finger and like the thing and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you want to talk to me, you can uh, on. Uh, in the description box, there are links to the Facebook and Instagram where you can direct message me, actually. There's a Facebook group there, an Instagram account there where you can message me and, and talk to me directly. Um, also, if you want to know more about me, there's a Wikipedia link there, and you can pick up a copy of the book that I wrote, Long Live the King Wild Bill, about my experiences with Panama Justice in my first year in prison. So that's available on Amazon, and there's a link there. All those links are in that box below. So God bless you guys. I love you guys, and I uh, hope to see and hear from you soon.